So, thousands of people who play Final Fantasy XIV using the Steam client have suddenly been locked out of their accounts. Yeah, that's a thing. Fraud and RMT have been a problem that Square Enix has been combating in their MMOs for a long time. And I remember back when I was playing Final Fantasy XI, this is how far back this problem has been going. Just before a Christmas holiday, Jill Sellers, they're the WoW equivalent are gold sellers. Jill Sellers basically eviscerated the in-game economy, completely ruined it, destroyed it. After that, Square Enix began to implement all sorts of draconian policies in order to combat them. And it was uh, stuff that they did that, that inconvenienced a lot of players. They had to throw a lot of people under the bus in order to fight a few people that were just causing nothing but problems. And this is a battle that Square Enix is still fighting to this day with Final Fantasy XIV. Problem with people stealing accounts, uh, trying to sell accounts, which is against their terms of service, and with RMT. And RM RMT has not been as big a problem as it used to be because of some countermeasures that were put into place, which unfortunately does inconvenience us a little bit, us regular players with some certain restrictions. But for the most part, they've been able to combat them pretty well. So as a measure to fight even more fraud, right around the time they released the 5.08 patch, Square Enix made a policy change. Now someone somehow may have been able to find a way to exploit this. There must have been some kind of weakness here in order for them to, in order for Square Enix to do this. And I, I don't see why Square would do this if there wasn't some way someone was exploiting this. So, what uh, Square has done is, if you have the Steam version of the game, but you registered the retail version, the version that's either on physical media or was downloaded from their store, their online store, you can't log in anymore. When you try to log in, you will get a message saying that you don't have an account on uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Dave tried to log into his account just the other day, and he got the message. And at first we thought it was a problem on Square Enix's end, but then he found out that it was a policy change that they made. So how it works is, um, and this has always been a thing with Final Fantasy XIV, and I think also XI. When you buy the game, whether you buy the retail version for PC, the Steam version for PC, Mac version, or the PS4 version, you will get a code. You use this code in order to register the game in the MOG station. This is when you go to set up your um, set up your subscription to the game, you use that code to basically tell the service, I'm registered on this platform. And it's always been a thing where the code or the retail version is not compatible with the Steam version because the game for PC originally launched on physical media and download before the Steam version was available. And the codes can't be used to unlock, the codes can't be used to unlock any other content. They're not compatible with each other. In other words, if you if you had Heaven's Word and you had the the physical media or download version and you wanted to get Shadowbringers and you bought it on Steam and you had you say you had the game client on Steam because you wanted the convenience of being able to have it on Steam to be able to, to just download it via Steam you bought Shadowbringers on Steam and you registered the code, the code wasn't compatible. Uh, now the game client itself downloads the expansion. It, Steam doesn't handle the downloading of the expansion. All Steam does is download the base game. 
Steam doesn't download Shadowbringers for you. It's the installer or, or the launcher for Final Fantasy XIV that does that. But the codes for registering the game aren't interchangeable. They're not compatible with each other. So if you bought the retail version, either the physical media or the download version, it's not on Steam. Only those codes were compatible. And if you bought the game and registered with Steam, you're locked into using you know, the codes from Steam. That's always been a thing. But what has been a thing up until now is if you bought the Steam version, you could then sign into your account on the Steam version onto your, your, your regular account that's registered for, you know, retail PC, regular retail PC. That you can't do anymore. And so I'll put in the description below uh, instructions uh, there you can download the install the 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 launcher for Final Fantasy 14 uh, they had they have a page where you can download it. it's a legit site it's not a hack or anything like that although someone has posted in the Steam forums a hack of how to get the Steam version to work again don't try it you will get your account banned you will lose your Final Fantasy XIV account if you do that because Square Enix will banhammer people when they get caught and they will get caught. They will get caught, so don't do it. But in the video description, I will have the link to the launcher. You can download what you would do. I will also have the instructions. What you, what you would basically do is you would uninstall the game from Steam then you would reinstall the game. You would install the launcher, sign in. It will sign straight in and start downloading the game. And you tell it, you tell it where to put it. And then there is a little something you have to do afterwards. Uh, don't launch immediately into the game, just exit out. And then there's a file you need to remove to reset the launcher as if it were starting from fresh. You know, where it will ask you, you know, if you want to create an account or log into an existing account. That way, uh, it will prevent the launcher from having some weird behavior because of doing this, switching back and forth. Because the files that store your macros and your your HUD position and everything, all that stuff that's stored locally, won't be deleted when you uninstall the Steam version. All those settings that you had will be there. So you won't lose your macros, you won't lose your your or your screen positions for everything. They'll all be there. So it's it's an inconvenience. Um you can still add the game into Steam as a non-Steam game that way you can still have the overlay and still be able to do um captures. You know, you can do screen captures using Steam. But um, you won't have the convenience of actually having the game in Steam to uh, basically easily install it that way. You will have to do it the other way. So that's a thing. I, I can understand why they did it. There are a lot of people who are really upset, who are extremely upset with Square for what they did. But I can understand why they did it. Because they're, they're trying to do it to protect users. They're trying to stop some kind of fraud and they must have seen that somebody was doing something squirrely and it was coming from a lot of steam versions of the game it could be rmt it could be stolen um steam accounts that that's a, that's a thing and so they they must have seen something there must have been some kind of security risk there that they saw that justified them doing this because this locks out a lot of people. There's a lot of people that that just grab the game off Steam for the convenience. I was doing it, Tiger was doing it, Dave was doing it. So this inconvenient this is an inconvenience, but it's not a showstopper. You can still play the game, you just have to install the game in a different way. So, 
nothing to get pissed off about. It's just, well, they're trying to stop crime. Somehow someone figured out a way to exploit this. The thing. I've been Mike DeZorch. See you guys next time. Help make Zort Central great again by visiting the Gamers Bay store where you can find retro games, movies, and more. Also check out the Gamers Bay community on MeWe. MeWe is the only social media network that takes your privacy as seriously as you do. Links are in the video description.